Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch where we specialize in whiskey and food. And in this new series of whiskey reviews that I'm doing, I'm going to look at five different Glenmorey Elgin Classic bottlings from the Glenmorey Distillery. You can see them lined up here behind me. I'm beginning with the Elgin Classic and then we've got the Sherry Cask, Chardonnay, Peated Single Malt and the Port Cask. So an exciting new series that I'm going to do. Glen Moray from the Glen Moray Distillery, founded in 1897, 120 years ago. And uh, it is owned by a company whose name I cannot pronounce. I think it's La Martinique or something. And situated in Speyside. So we've got our Scotland map, Lowlands, Highlands, and there you can see the Speyside, very well known Speyside region. More than half of all of the whiskey distilleries in the entire Scotland is in that Speyside region. That is a blown up map of that tiny little region. And you can see that is the town of Elgin and right next to it over there is the Glen Murray Distillery. There you go, in the northern highlands of Scotland in the Speyside region. This is a no age statement, so there's no age on this. It's bottled at 43% ABV. It's the South African version and 750 milliliters. On the back of the bottle, you can see it there. 43%, 750 ml. No mention is made whether this is chill filtered or whether coloring was added. So we can't really trust the color that we're seeing here. Matured for approximately seven years in mainly first bourbon casks. There you can see the color for what it's worth, pale gold. Glen Moray. So let's go and see what this is all about. Seven years, first full bourbon cask on the nose. Vanilla, immediately. Beautiful vanilla, very typical from the ex bourbon cask maturation of single malt. And it's quite malty. There's some honey and some stone fruit aromas. Short bread, a hint of citrus peel, it's quite grassy as well. If you do the drop in the palm taste, which I've described already, then the aroma left in your palm, if you rub it fiercely until it gets warm and the alcohol is evaporated, what's left is a fresh warm brown bread aroma in the palm of your hand. So here we go, 43% on the palate, slange. Sweet, fruity. The initial impression is sweet, fruity with a, with a hint of toffee. And then you can get the maltiness, some citrus, but it's also a little crispy towards the end, so the youthfulness is evident. And then the grassiness on the palate as well. Mm. And a little bit of spice. The finish is medium long. It's quite warm towards the end. You've got a bit of mixed peel on the palate, a little bit of ginger marmalade. Mm. Quite, quite delicious. For a no age statement for the price, the price in South Africa is approximately 300 Rand, which translates to more or less 15 pounds. And um, that'll translate to what, about 20 US dollars? which is a good price for a single malt of this quality. Let's see what a drop of water will do. 
if we do a drop of water, 43%, so you can put half a teaspoon in this amount of whiskey. And it'll probably show the oily effect on the glass as you add the water. You can see there. So after a few drops of water, the grassiness is still there. There's a bit of hay in the aroma. And now there's a bit of butterscotch. Soft vanilla with lightly spiced honey towards the end. So after water, on the nose, grassy, hay, butterscotch, and on the palate, soft vanilla, lightly spiced honey. I doubt whether it's worthwhile to add water. Pro this is probably one of those strands that you want to enjoy without water. Pairing this with a food snack, I've decided I'm going to play around with meringues. And I've got eight different meringues that I've tested with this lineup of Glenmorays. The one that works best for the Glenmorey Elgin Classic, which this is, is the pomegranate. Pomegranate flavored meringues. So it's quite brittle. It's soft it's a light it's just wonderful so we're gonna see how this works here we go mm. melt in your mouth the sweet fruity pomegranate flavor fruity multi aromas on the nose from the dram And it brings out the maltiness of this dram. A lovely food snack, light, flavorful, and as you combine it with this whiskey, it just brings out that wonderful maltiness. Quite a delicious pairing, food snack pairing with this Glenmorey Elgin Classic Single Malt. Excellent value for money. In our next video, I'm going to move on towards the Glenmorey Elgin Classic Sherry Cask Mature right behind me. Until then, slanger.